Dear students, good morning. I am your science teacher. My name is Sudha. We are in A standard, isn't it? Up to your P section, you study basic science. Here is a small change. That is, your basic science is divided into three parts. One is physics, another one is chemistry, the last one is biology. Before taking class, I am ready to introduce the basic science part one textbook. Okay? And if you take your textbook and listen the content part, yes, there are seven lessons of present in your first part science textbook. The first two lessons are comes under biology. The next two, that is third and fourth lesson comes under chemistry. The last three lessons are in physics. Now I am going to teach the Third lesson is yes, so if you take properties of matter and listen the picture. Students, can you see some objects are present in the picture? Can you tell me the name of that objects? Yes, tell me. Glass, tumbler, geometry box. Pencil, balloon, specs, etc. Okay. Take balloon and pencil. What are the materials present in balloon and pencil? Can you tell me? Yes. Balloon is made up of plastic. Pencil is made up of wood and graphite. What is meant by graphite? Can you heard that name? It is a type of carbon. It is an allotropic form of carbon. You will study in the higher classes what is meant by allotropic. Now you just understand this is a type of carbon. Okay? Number of objects or materials are present around us. Can you tell me the different physical states of the materials? Already studied in your UP section. Can you tell me their different states? Yes, solid, liquid and gaseous state. Very good. All of you listen the same picture once again. Classify the materials on the basis of physical states. Solid, liquid and gas. Yes. Which are the materials or comes under solid? Glass tumbler, balloon, Geometry box, specs, pants. Very good. Which is present in glass tumbler? Yes, water. Water is in liquid state. Which is present in balloon? Yeah, it is in gaseous state. Okay, students, we will study the important properties of this materials by doing some experiments. The first experiment take two beakers take equal amount of water in it. Keep the first beaker as it is. Don't touch it. Then you take a stone tie with the help of thread. 
and put this stone in the second beaker. Listen here. You observe the level of water. Okay. What do you observe? You observe the level of water in the second beaker. Okay. Yes. What will happen? Yes. Tell me. The level of water increases. What is the reason? Why the level of water in the second beaker increases? The stone requires space inside the water. It occupies space inside the water. So it increases the level of water. There is no change in the first beaker. Yes students. What is the state of this stone? Solid state. That is, what do you understand from this experiment? Solids requires space to occupy. Very good. Okay students, let us see the next activity. Yes, here I am taking a trough. Then you take water in the trough. What is it? It is called it as trough. You take water in the trough. You just observe the level of water in the trough. Okay? You just observe the level of water in the trough. Then you take a empty beaker and immerse the beaker perpendicularly in the trough. All of you listen here. You just observe the level of water in the trough. Any change in the level of water. Observe it. Can you observe any change? Yes, the level of water in the trough increases. Whether the water enters inside the Small beaker? No. Why? Some material is present inside the beaker. What's the material? Very good. Yeah. Air occupies the space. Air requires space to occupy. What is the state of air? Gaseous state. In the above experiment, you study solid requires space to occupy. Here, air requires space to occupy. Okay, come to the third experiment. Which are the materials required to do this experiment? Yes, one metal scale. Take two balloons filled with air. Tie these two balloons with the help of thread. Then you want a piece of cello tape. Then you want a needle. Okay. Hang these two balloons at the two ends of the metal scale. Then cut a piece of cello tape and Stick it on one of the balloons. Okay. Stop. Suspend the metal scale at the balanced position. Then you take a needle. Pierce the balloon with the needle on the cello tape. Pierce the balloon with the needle on the cello tape. What will happen the size of the blue balloon? Yes, at the same time you observe the level of metal scale. Is the size of the blue color balloon. 
decreases. What is the reason? The air which is present inside the blue balloon escaping through the hole at the same time the metal scale loses the balance due to the loss of weight on the side of the balloon which pricked hey students what do you understand from this experiment air has mass hey students we studied three experiments isn't it from this what you can understand matter is anything that occupies space and has mass okay matter is anything that occupies space and has mass when you listen here take your science diary and write the procedure of these experiments that is the homework for you let us see in the next class bye